Hello, everyone, and welcome to part three of how to treat stress and anxiety, uh, muscle tension relief, more so than muscle tension relief, the, the stress that goes on in our mind. <laughs> By the way, this is a good subject for me and why I chose to do that do this this morning. I just uh, returned just now from the local gym that I go to, the gymnasium, my workout area, and uh, now my legs feel like mush from the bicycle routine that um, I have a trainer that's helping me with. But anyways, stress relief. Oh, yeah, I'm, I don't have any stress now. Those endorphins really do kick in. That's one way. But uh, that's not just all we're going to talk about. But stress relief and managing stress and anxiety is very important. Just ask my ex-wife. Uh, well, on second thought, no, don't ask her because she might not have some very pleasant things to say about me. I think she still loves me. I hope she does because I love her. But anyways, um, let's talk about some sort of physical exercise for how to treat success. Treat yourself to success to relieve stress by relieving stress and anxiety. And by the way, for those of you that don't know me, this is James Nussbaumer, and I am the author of The Master of Everything. It's a series of, series of books on how to have a better life and understanding spiritual metaphysical principles. But yes, you know, it does help the mind as well as the body. Uh, to carry out some sort of cardio cardiovascular routine exercise each week, like I had uh, done this morning on the bicycle routine. You know, I used to be a jogger for all my years in the, you know, my younger years, but now that I'm 60 years old, now I can't believe I'm 60. I, that, that, why should I be 60 years old? But somehow I'm 60 now. Anyway, so I'm I'm finding that the bicycle is much easier. No pounding on the knees and the joints. And, you know, I'll do some power walking too. But anyways, carry on some kind of cardiovascular exercise. No matter what your age is, even if you're 80 or beyond, there's something that you can do at your own pace for cardiovascular. Um, depending on your age bracket, two times a week, around 30 minutes a session is good. But what if exercise don't interest you? Well, I'm going to get into that here in a second. By the way, as you're listening to me, if you're not a subscriber of my YouTube channel, please subscribe right now. If you're watching this at my website, in the header above, in the footer below of this blog that you're watching this at is a YouTube icon with my smiling face. That I really don't like that picture anymore. But anyways, next to that, my face is a YouTube icon. Click, click on it. And uh, it will subscribe you to my YouTube channel. Now, I'm going to um, share my screen with you because what if exercise doesn't interest you? I want to have you take a look at something here. Uh, now, bear with me because I'm doing some technical, uh, technical things that sometimes can be difficult for me. I'm going to share my screen with you right now. And I think I've got this on pretty much under control. I'm learning, learning this pretty well. Okay, people have messaged me and told me they like this when I do this, and it depends on the type of video I'm doing, so today I think it's appropriate. I'm going to highlight this right here, stress relief activities for how to treat anxiety and stress, and as I'm highlighting this in yellow, and as you're listening to it, keep in mind in the description area down below of the YouTube video, there is a link that will give you access through my website, through my safe website, that will give you access to a yoga session that I'm so thrilled with. And people are telling me they're having tremendous results. And it's mainly for weight loss, but it's also used for stress relief. So as I go on here now, keep in mind as you're contemplating, as you're looking at this, stress relief activities, as you might be stressed out right now, ugh, and you're looking at this, believe me, I was in the financial services business for 25 years as a broker and, you know, find the financial markets and, and all that kind of crazy stuff. Stress just killed me almost. But that's, that story is told in my books. And, uh, you know, that I did have a crash. Just like markets crash, I had my own crash. But that's not what this video is about. So let me get back to what we're saying here. So what if exercise don't interest you, but you're still needing to get stress relief and you need some activities going on? Well, exercise, like I said, might seem complicated as one of your stress relieving activities, but it can be enhanced with some basic applications each day. You know, try some methods to press the body in different ways. 
somewhat, you know, like, for example, taking the stairs instead of the elevator or escalator or whatever it is, if you can take the stairs, you know, yoga, which is what I'm saying, I'm describing, want you to listen to in the link down below in the description area. But yoga, yoga is, is an excellent natural remedy for healing and stress relief. And now, very popular, ever so popular now for losing weight, for weight loss with yoga, which I love. I think it's just great that they're coming up with all these things and they work. They really do. So, but yoga can be, you know, you can begin uh, with yoga by putting, putting yourself at ease and just promoting a psychological approach to it. And, you know, it's going to help you gain some spiritual knowledge of yourself and inner awareness of yourself. And, you know, many are using yoga, like I said, for weight loss very successfully, but also for healing. You know, it could be a relationship that's gone sour where your soul is kind of wounded and your heart is hurting. And yoga is good for that. Or you may be recovering from a physical ailment. Maybe it was a surgery or something that's going on with you physically. Yoga is great for healing. It heals the mind. And then the mind instructs the body to heal. So, you know, the postures that are taught at yoga can be for anybody, no matter what age you are. If you are a senior, well into your senior years, there is yoga techniques for you too. Uh, if you're 85 years old, you might not be as flexible as the 18 year old female that's, uh, you know, does gymnastics and things like that and also practices yoga. So by the way, and even my golf buddies are practicing yoga and I just think it's great. So by the way, I hope that this made sense to you. I hope you're thinking a lot about your own life and all the natural gifts that you have inside that the world is just waiting for you to share with your beautiful smile every day and you feeling happy about life in this world. I wish the best for you. And isn't that what it's, what it's all about, being happy with life in this world? You know, if you see my ex-wife, don't pay too much attention to what she says about me, but tell her I love her, and I always will, and, and I miss her. <laughs> Thanks again, but I'm moving on, too. I am moving on. Thanks again for listening to me and for listening to me cut up just a little bit here today, just to put a little sense of humor into this. Wish the best for you. Thanks again for listening, and God bless.